Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another pen review and I don't think this one will be a very long one because I reviewed several pens similar to this, but in my reviews we never know because I tend to talk too much. So, let's go for it. Today we have the Lamy Safari Original Savannah Green for the Special Edition for 2021. So, this one came inside this box, instead of that with those cutouts which was very big and always came very damaged. This one is very simple. Here on the top of the box you can see that is a fine nib and it is Savannah. And we open this, we put the box aside and we have the pen. This is a typical Lamy Safari pen, I guess all you know this pen and just for um, if you are, this is the first Lamy Safari you are checking, just a very quick uh, overview of the shape. We have a conical, not a conical, cylindrical cap, very simple, with a top that is made of black plastic, all the pen is plastic except for the clip and, and the, the nib. It has this black plastic piece there that has a, a cross and then you have this, when you see it in the front, it is a U-shaped clip that is raised here on the base to allow for the fabric of your pouch or your jeans to go underneath. The barrel is kind of a cylindrical one with two flattened parts so it makes two plain facets. Here you have an ink window that has no uh, plastic sealing it so what you see directly beneath is the cartridge or the converter if you use the converter and you have Lamy engraved there in big letters and here on the bottom you will have Germany. If this is the new release for 2021, so it is the like the the, re the release, the re-release of the Savannah color from the 1980s. And if it was the original one from 1980s, it would say West Germany or W Germany instead of Germany simply. This one has this very nice, um, let's call it Savannah green color, it's like a military green. And the cap, and it is a matte finish, not the, those glossy ones. I will show you like this. I have this just to show another green pen, this is the apple green. And you can see it is very glossy, The other, this one is in a matte style. This one has the, the, the clip is chrome plated, this one is just black. The pen uncaps just by clicking or, or the, the cap clicks in place so it's very easy to remove and you will find this kind of triangular shaped section that is rounded on the bottom facet and it is uh, straight on two side facets and it makes you hold the pen in this specific grip. You will not, it's not easy to hold it in another, in another way, even not easy to write with the reverse side of the nib. Some people think about it, it's not possible to do it. It has a black plastic ring there. It has a steel nib, a black steel nib. This one is a fine, it is engraved, engraved with Lamy, a plastic feed. The nibs in these pens are very easy to uh, remove. You just have to slide the nib out and exchange for some other if you want it. The pen, the, the barrel and screws, it has this engraving. It has two entries on these threads, so you may thread it and it, you have it like the right side, the, the correct side up. Lamy should be the same side as the nib but if you screw it on the other entry of the screw 
of the threads, you'll have also a plain facet facing up, but you'll not have the lamy because that is underneath. For this pen, you can use the proprietary cartridge from Lamy or the proprietary converter from Lamy. In this case, I didn't use any of them. And where is it? It's here. I just used one of these things. This is a Parker short cartridge and I used it because the opening of these cartridges, of the Lamy cartridges, is the same as the Parker and Aurora. So you have quite a choice. I, I don't think I plan to have this pen inked for a very long time because now I have pens that I think they are more exciting in terms of writing experience or are more new to me, like it's, it's more that, pens that are that I recently acquired, so really different models. This one is a model that I already know. I think I'll be using it. Maybe this is kind of a very good holiday span, but not for everyday use, not for uh, desk use, I would say. I, it's a good pen to take with me. And now that I'm staying more at home, I tend to use more the, um, the more expensive pens because here at home there is no such risk of losing or get them stolen so it's easier for me to use the other pens that I'm more excited about. However, I'm quite excited about this color because I think it's really nice. So I was telling you, you can use the Lamy proprietary cartridges which are like this or you could use a Parker cartridge that would fit also like this or a an Aurora cartridge, but I, as I was telling you, I'm not planning to have this pen inked for a long time, so I decided to put less ink inside. Yes, I could put this cartridge and do not refill fill it uh, with a syringe, that's what I did, not fill it all the way, and just, I prefer to use the small one. I don't know why, just because. Uh, and that is it. This is the overview of the pen. By the way, the ink I have inside is this Diamine Salamander, which is kind of a nice match, match for it, but it is more on the grey side. Now, let me just show you some size comparisons and then we go to the writing sample. First, I have, let's go for some color and size. So I showed you the Lamy, this is the apple green. This, this was a limited edition for a special edition from a few years ago. So obviously it is the same size, it is the same Lamy. And we have this one that's not a match, but it is the other pen that was released. And the other pen was also uh, was the Lamy Safari Original Terra Red. So Savannah Green, Terra Red were the two that were released that match the original pens. I did not review this one yet. Then we have the Super 5 Dublin, which is also an olive green pen. We have a Parker 45 in olive, which is a very beautiful color. We cannot really compare, this one is not comparable at all in terms of shade, but even these shades are not so easy to compare because I would say this is much more similar to this one than it looks but because this one has a different finish, more matte, it reflects the light in a different way so it's not real. I wonder if this one was a frosted or a matte finish, how will it compare with the Lamy? Then we have also the very hard to find, I would say rare, Kavec Ranger Sport, which was an older edition, which is also this kind of color. It's more similar to the Super 5 Dublin. And then we have the one of the most beautiful pens that I have, which is the Parker Centennial Dual Fold Olive Check, which is very beautiful, that has tones of olive and gray. Let's just go for the size comparison, but I think you already know this. Parker Dufold, Lamy, Safari, they are of the same size, a 
approximately, then you unscrew them, you have this small kind of fingernail uh, type of nib, and on the fold you have a big nib, but the overall length of the pens is about the same. So here you can take a look of both nibs. The Lamy is a pen that is comfortable to use if you like the triangular grip. It is comfortable to use like this because it is a long pen, as I told you, and it is even comfortable to use posted if you prefer to do it, but because of the clip I tend to think it comes it becomes a little top heavy. Check it like this, it doesn't fall backward and if I do this it falls. So I think this becomes too back heavy. There are people that but it's not a heavy pen so you can really write easily with that. I don't like to use my pens posted unless they are meant to be posted. I don't think this one is meant to be posted so I don't enjoy to do it. And now let's go for the writing sample. And here we have the pen and paper and let's see how it performs. It wasn't kept for a long while while I was talking about it so let's see if it writes at first time. I, th I think so. S yes it does. This is the Lamy Safari and this color is the, the name of the pen is Original Savannah Green with a fine steel nib. The ink it has inside is that ink that I showed you, the Diamine Salamander. Sometimes Lamy makes an ink that matches the colors of the pens of these special editions. This time they did not. I wonder if it was because of the pandemic, it was harder to have everything working, I don't know, but there is not that color, so that's why I used this one. And the paper that I'm using is the Rhodia.pad. So, about the writing experience, this nib is really, really smooth. And this is something that I find interesting because on some of the previous special editions, I have been getting the special editions of the Safari for the last few years, I think those pens, um, some nibs are very good, some nibs are very, are more scratchy. This one is kind of perfect, I would say. It writes really well. That skip was not fault of the pen, it was my fault, because you can see, you can write quickly with it and it will not skip. You can try to have some line variation, if you, even if you press hard you will not have it, at least a visible one, because this pen is not, it has a very stiff nib. About line, about the wetness of the nib. You can see this is a fine nib, it's not very wet, it is wet enough, it is decent enough to write very well. So it is a very good everyday pen. Um, assuming that you like this kind of grip, as I told you. I don't usually like this kind of grip and I tend not to choose pens that have this kind of grip because I really don't enjoy it. However, I think that this is kind of... Um, a character mark from the Lamy Safari. So in this pen I can accept it, but I don't like it that much in other pens. This is, if you don't like to hold the pen there, you can hold the pen higher because it's big enough so you can move your fingers up or down as you want. It is not slippery, but I tend to think that this kind of grip, at least for me, I, I tend to rotate the, the nibs a little bit and this kind of grip makes me a little bit uncomfortable to write with and I would say maybe this is my fault because I rotate the nibs. I shouldn't do that. It, maybe if I always used pens with triangular grip they would force me a correct grip and I could improve my handwriting maybe but I don't really care about that. About reverse writing, it doesn't write and there, was, there is no point because it's not comfortable to hold it on the reverse side because it is a triangular grip. 
So, this is my overview of this pen. Is this a nice pen? Yes, it is. It costs around 26 euros, so it is quite inexpensive. It is a good pen that you can carry around everywhere. It is a cartridge filler. You can put a converter if you prefer to use ink from bottle. I think this is really, really, really a nice color. I like the matte Lamy Safari pens, and this one is very interesting. So, I'm very happy with this. I really like this color. If one day I start selling my Lamy Safari collection, I think this one is really one that I will keep. This is one of my favorite colors. My favorite pen color is yellow, and I think after yellow, this kind of military green or olive green is the next. So, this is all I had to show you today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to meet you here soon. Bye.